So we have a magnet uh, which is uh, you know inserted into a coil of uh, seven turns. What it's meaning that you have a coil, wire coil, which has seven turns, okay? And inside it, we just uh, pushed this bar magnet with the south pole is here and the north pole is on the right. And uh, what it says in the problem is that if the rate of change in the strength of the magnetic field caused by the motion of the bar magnet, that motion it's, uh, shows that it is moving to the left, uh, if, if this change is 0 0.04 tesla per second, that means the change in the magnetic field occurs of 0 0.04 tesla in one second. Uh, what is the magnitude of the induced uh, electromotive force in that coil of wire? Um, so this is a Faraday uh, effect or Faraday law. And what the Faraday law says that an induced electromotive force or voltage difference at any point in the coil, and, and, and etc. So whatever it, uh, uh, the change in the voltage, I mean, uh, we, we express this, uh, this uh, capital epsilon, and and we know that this is nothing but minus d phi over dt by the Faraday's law. But what is phi over here? Phi is the magnetic flux, right? The magnetic flux. Uh, in concern so the flux over here is that if I just draw uh, this motion or this coil from the cross section view I see a, a circular uh, you know cross section and through the circular cross section a bar magnet is moving uh, toward you let's say you know so uh, that means this area which is you know in the shape of a coil a coil usually a circle is uh, cross section is just an, a, a a circular area and this area is given in the problem to be just 0 0.02 uh, meter square so we know that magnetic, magnetic flux is nothing but the magnetic field magnitude multiplied by the area which is uh, the magnetic field uh, is perpendicular to it well it's obvious that the ma magnetic field is perpendicular to this area because the magnet is going toward you so that means it, it is uh, crossing the area perpendicularly the magnetic field so we can just uh, write this as, but if you know you have in in any way if you have some uh, you know change in the if you have a, if you have some uh, uh, let's say a, a, it, 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 an angle which is not an angle which is not perpendicular then this uh, formula is going to be taken as the the dot product between the magnetic field and the cross section but in that case you would have b times a times cosine theta where theta is the angle between the area vector and the magnetic field so you know this but you know for the time being since uh, this angle is 90 degrees uh, the theta is going to be 0 degrees so cosine 0 is 1 so it's just b times a so pneumatic flux is you know this one and just uh, put this uh, formula into here uh, emeka for the time being just i will drop the negative sign because what we are dealing with the magnitude so since we are dealing with, with the magnitude, uh, this negative sign has no any uh, effect in the result. So this is going to be uh, the time derivative of B times A, right? Because B here is just the magnetic flux. Well, if you take the time derivative of this expression B times A, uh, you will just take uh, the change in the uh, uh, magnetic field multiplied by area because area is, you know, not change over time is not changing over time so you can express this as db over dt multiplied by the area so the change in the magnetic field but the change in the magnetic field is given in the problem the change of the magnetic field is just 0 0.04 tesla per second so just instead of this you can just we can write 0 0.04 uh, multiplied by the area which is 0 0.02 right well you have to be careful in here because when you have a multiple loop this will uh, be true if you had only one single loop okay but since we have 
this turn seven times, we have to incorporate this number of turns into this equation as n, where n stands for the number of turns in your coil. So we have to put over here the n, the n over here, but in the problem, the n, the number of turns, is given as 7. So this is going to be multiplied by just 7. You have to be, this is the crucial point over here because if you forgot this n, then you will have a, a wrong result. Okay? So if you do this, the 4 times 10 to minus uh, 2 multiplied by 2 times 10 to minus 2 and multiplied by 7 is going to be see 5.6 times 10 to minus 3 uh which is the volt okay of course the uh, the unit for the uh, uh electromotive force is just volt